back to another video. Today's another match preview. This time it's Swansea City versus Preston North End in the Skybet Championship. Um, unfortunately, Luke cannot join me on this uh, preview um, because he's very busy at the moment, but he will be back on the match day vlog tomorrow. But um, yeah, let's get straight into it then. So obviously we're off the back of a one all draw away at Huddersfield. It's the first home league game for a while and it's the first game fans are allowed in. So really, we didn't even miss any championship games while... Um, the fans weren't allowed in. We missed one game, which was an FA Cup game. So, yeah, at least we're back in now anyway. Um, but, yeah, it's going to be a tough game. You know, Preston always offer a threat. You know, they're one of those sides that have pretty much cemented their spot as a championship side. Um, you know, you wouldn't really expect any more or any less of Preston. Um, you know, you know what, what you're going to get with them. Um, you know, we've had some good results against them uh, in the last couple of years, but I think in the last few seasons, I think they have beaten us a few times. I, I know they beat us 3-1 earlier on this season as well. Um, so yeah, they're, they, you know, they're a hard team to break down. Um, I think we can get a result, and I do think we will get a result, but I'll go on to my score prediction a bit later on in the video. But yeah, I do think we will get a result, but you know, it won't be easy because you know, they are a good side and they've got some good players. But um, yeah, I, I think we'll get, um, get a result, but yeah. Um, now moving on to the injury news then for both teams. So for the Swans then, um, at the moment we don't actually have any you know clear injuries or anything. Um, and then for Preston, I believe uh, is a player called is it Matthew on a Sunday with a groin injury. I believe that's his name. Um, and then the key players then for both teams to start off for Swansea. Then if there's any Preston fans watching this, you need to look out for Joel Pirro. Um, I think he's on 13 goals this season. I think 11 of them coming in the league. Um, I'd also go with Flynn Downs as well. You know, he's a bit of a monster, a bit of a machine, a bit of a workhorse. You know, he can do everything really going forward, defensively, um, in the midfield areas. I think, you know, picking up the ball, running with it, he's brilliant. And I'd also go with Olivia Cham as well, arguably our best player in terms of ability. Um, you know, the way he can, you know, drive at uh, defenders and carry the front men through and even take a shot from distance. I think he's very good at that as well. Um, and then the Preston key players, then I'm going to go with our ex, you know, ex man who helped us get promoted, Scott Sinclair. Um, I know he scored against us when we played against them. I think it was either last season or the season before. Um, I'd also go with uh, the Welshman Chad Evans, and I'd also go with Sepp van den Berg. Um, I don't know if he's on loan from Liverpool anymore, whether he signed permanently, but uh, regardless, he's definitely a good player and one to watch out for. But um, yeah, if I was to make a line up then for the Swans. It would be a bit different, obviously, with the you know the players that we've had brought in. Um, so yeah, this is how I'd line up then. In goals, I would bring in Andrew Fisher because, you know, if you've got a new goalkeeper, you've got to play him. I think otherwise it just seems really stupid to, to bring in a goalkeeper because a goalkeeper doesn't want to, you know, sign for a new club if he's not going to be played, if he's going to be constantly on the bench. So I think that's a bit stupid to not play him, so... Yeah, in goals, I'm going to go with Andrew Fisher. Five at the back then. Uh, right wing back, I'm going to go with Cyrus Christie. I thought he was really good against Huddersfield. Three centre-backs, I'm going to go with Kyle Norton, Ben Cabango and Ryan Manning. I think Manning, you know, he does operate well um, as as a centre-back, even though his, you know, his best position or natural position is left wing back. But I think this season, as a makeshift centre-back, I think he's been terrific. So, um, yeah, I'd go Norton Cabango man in, and then left wing back then, I'd go with Joel Atterbode, yeah. Because um, then the good thing about that is that, um, depending on the way things are going, Latterbode and Manning can always switch mid game. Um, and then two in midfield then. Well, actually, I'm going to go four in midfield actually. Two defensive players, I'm going to go with Matt Grimes and Flynn Downs. Um, and then just ahead of them, I'm going to go with Olivia and a Cham, and I'm going to go with our new man, um, Hannes Wolf. Um, you know, he's only just come in, but I think he does deserve to, um, you know, get a start. They throw him straight in there, I reckon. Um, and then up front, Joel Pirro. Uh, so I'm playing a bit of a, a 5 4 1 or a 5 2 2 1 sort of formation. So the uh, five at the back with wing backs operating, and then the, the, uh, Two DMs, two cams, and a centre forward. But um, yeah, I'm obviously would love to see Jamie Patterson in the team. Um, but you know, the fans, he's not really, you know, um, the fans aren't really, you know, with him at the moment. But um, you know, I'm not gonna comment on that until the the full story is out or 
whatever because there's yeah a few different sides to the story but um i believe he's back in training anyway but i think it's too soon for him to be back into the into the first team and then i don't think michael obafemi is you know really ready for first team action action on a consistent basis so um yeah that's my lineup anyway but then finally on to score prediction then i'm gonna say i'm gonna go with Swansea City 3, Preston 1. I think we're going to do what they did to us um, when we played them at their, their place. Um, so, yeah, I think we're going to win 3-1. I'm going to say Joel Pirro with another goal. I'm going to say Kyle Norton on the score sheet. I'm going to say Hans Wolf with a debut goal. And I'm going to go with Scott Sinclair to score for them. Obviously, former player curse. Um, but, yeah, obviously, thanks for watching this video. Um, we will be back tomorrow finally for another match day vlog after a month of not doing match day vlogs where Luke will be joining me in that one as well. But yeah, stay tuned for that and thanks for watching.